What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe After Effects CS6. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to do some character animation. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to Photoshop. And this is a transparent TIFF and I have this Android character here. I'm going to actually use this character for another video. And I'll put a link in this video so you can check that out. So basically this is all you need. If you have a character in Photoshop and you have a transparent background, you can go ahead and animate it. So let me just close out Photoshop. I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition. This is 1280 by 720. If you want to work in 1080p, go for it. If you want to work at a higher frame rate, you can also click OK. Go to File Import. Okay, select the Android character, click OK. Take the Android character, bring it onto the timeline. The first thing you want to do is take this Puppet Pin tool, and this is going to allow us to animate the character. We're going to apply some pins here. And it's almost like you're addressing all the joints where you want the character to move. So you see I can move his arm now, and as I'm moving his arm, his body is moving. And you can do the same thing over here. And even for some of the legs. So he's kind of like dancing, and this is what you would want your character to do if you want him to be animated. I'm not sure if you want him to dance, but you know, whatever you want the character to do. Now, if you're not familiar with keyframes, this is to allow you to make changes to the character in a period of time. So just think of a keyframe as a point of time in your timeline over here where you want to make a change. So I'm going to hit control on my keyboard and I'm just going to start using it. And on the bottom of the timeline, you see that marker moving. And what's going on is that it's adding keyframes. Now you see all those keyframes because I was pressing control and I was moving the mouse. So let's press spacebar. And there you go. The keyframes are automatically added. Now if you don't want to do that, what you could do is click over here. And then you can just move it like this. And then manually add a keyframe down here. What I would suggest though, if you are going to do that, I would probably do more of the control clicking because it's a lot easier and it's a time saver. Manually entering all the keyframes is just very time consuming so I wouldn't suggest working in that way unless you're making little changes. Roll it back here and start moving his legs too. Now if we want to we can click on the head here and you see the heads moving up and down again control and now there's some more animation and then if you think about this we take the whole body say we want to have him move here come over here to transform and we'll put position here one keyframe there and then put another keyframe there and now he looks like he's moving and you can also adjust the speed if you want just move the keyframe closer and he'll move faster so it's kind of cool, you know, After Effects has some options here and it really makes character animation more of a possibility, especially for people who are not professional animators. So this is an introductory tutorial for character animation in Adobe After Effects CS6. I will have more tutorials where we get into more advanced things with character animation, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.